Link in the description below for the person who made the iceberg. Who's the iceberg about? Well, Before we get started, I'd let you all know that this iceberg is going to be a tad bit different. Instead of showing the tip or the bottom of the iceberg, I'm only going to be showing the specific things on the iceberg. So enjoy this video and let's get started. Flexing his stuff. Blender Gwen24 flexes a lot of his stuff on his YouTube channel. His most prominent series is how to flex, where it shows you how to flex different stuff. Stuff like Teslas and Apple cards and also his Apple stand. 50 Ways to Break is a series that Planarch started when he was in his, his mobile old house in 2014 with 50 Ways to Break a Phone, and the series has continued since. His biggest YouTube videos being when he breaks the Nintendo Switch, with three of his biggest 50 Ways to Break videos being literally 150 Ways to Break a Switch, had a 50 more ways to break a Switch, and 50 and 25 ways to break a Nintendo Switch. Nor did he know that they were going to be successful, nor did he not. This series has done really well for him, and it's the only standing series that's going to keep his channel going as long as he doesn't burn out. Board Smashing is a Plain Rock series that he created back when he was literally in 2012. This series is a really big series for his channel, being actually his number one series he makes on his YouTube channel. It's basically where he starts smashing stuff, his most prominent one being his Board Smashing um, Kid Tesla version, and his actual Tesla one failing completely with him being sad about that. It's a really cool series which you guys should go really check out. Or, uh, moving on, it's one of Planarch's biggest videos on his YouTube channel. His most prominent one being where he moved on with his iPhone 10. The biggest, some of his fir first ones were his moving on Wii U and his moving on iPhones. His moving on Wii U is completely different from the other ones, having iMovie stock music while a iPhone uses the Morse code sound from the iMovie sound sound effects. It's really cool to see how much he changed in this form, unlike his other series on his YouTube channels. Hate comments. When there's a board smashing or 50 ways to break on something, he'll start making a hate comments video with the salty fans of that series. The number ones being the pl the PlayStation and Xbox fanboys, the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo fanboys, and the Sonic fan, ba fan base. One of his most funniest ones being the Pokemon fan base, where he literally even makes a 9/11 joke, which is actually pretty funny. And anybody that thinks it's not is very PC. Impulsive purchases. This is definitely has to do with half the crap that's in his old office, which he doesn't even need to use. Some of this could possibly mean like his DS light up session, his virtual boy, or even some of the things that he just uses once t once a time, like his PS, like his PlayStation VR, or some other stuff. R. Grocery store phones is actually a very popular series on his YouTube channel. His most prominent one, I don't know what it is, but I think it has to be one of his newer ones. The series started in 2016 when Planrec bought a bunch of phones from his local grocery store Fry's, his, some of them being an LG phone and a couple other phones. One of his biggest ones has to be his BTS there phone isn't and any his other flip ones. phone that over the moral world. I think I said that completely wrong. The series is really cool series and if you want to check it out, it's you could, there's only 15 episodes so you could probably get them done in about a day. Old Trailer Home Old Trailer Home is his old house that he used to live in from, tw from 2011 to 2016 on his YouTube channel. The biggest thing about this is that it was the start of his YouTube channel, obviously, but his biggest video in the house was 50 ways to break a 3DS and how to annoy phone scammers. Fun fact, in one of his videos he said that the phone scammer video was literally the only way he was surviving a little bit in 2017. Old skits. Planner 24 made a lot of old skits. One of them actually being where he was called Wii's Revenge and where he would teach you how to clean and fix an, a phone. One of his other ones being old technology versus te teens today, which is actually a pretty cool series. He did two of them actually. Old vlogs. Planner 24 made a lot of old vlogs. And if you go into his vlog channel, the only way you can know if it's old is if you check the title. The title will have the date when it was uploaded, and it will also have the number which it is. And and that's what the old vlogs are. They're just random vlogs he created as a little as a kid slash high schooler in his days. The last old vlog would have to be the last time he numbered his vlog as series. Old Park. Old Park was Planet Rock's old park in his mobile home area where he filmed a lot of his YouTube videos in. His most prominent being 50 ways to break a 3DS, 50 ways to break a tablet, and 50 ways to break a phone 1 and 2. You can also see it in other YouTube videos such as Grocery Store Phones episode 1 through 5. 
Plain Rock Toys. Plain Rock Toys is the series where Plain Rock made to make fun of toy channels. His biggest ones having to be when he took a shot every time he saw Ryan Toys review things, his Mario's his Mario collectible coins ones, and where he collected Mario Kart pins. There's really nothing else I can talk about here. Giving stuff. This could mean of two reasons. Number one, where people want him to give stuff to them after he has broken it already when they get pissed at him. Usually examples were in his I Hate um, Animal Crossing where people asked him to give it to them or in some of his other videos. But he also gives stuff to his friends, which is also something he said in one of his other videos. He gave stuff like an Xbox One to one of his friends. He also gave a Nintendo Switch, uh, AirPods, Super Mario Odyssey, and a couple other stuff to some of his friends. In, in help of them being his friend, or something like that. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay. Rants. Pedro going to 4 will go through a bunch of rants if somebody complains that what he did with his own money, which is his own money. He does it in some of his videos like any, like a sports smashing NES, sports smashing SNES, and some of his hate comments videos where he gets mad at people from getting mad at him for smashing stuff that he made with his own money. Dyson. Planet Rock has a lot of Dyson products in his rooms. I don't know if he has any anymore, but in his uh, but in his other house, he had a Dyson Hot Plus Cool in his bedroom and in his office. He also made a video called Why Dyson Products Are So Expensive where he just made a joke while smashing his Dyson. There is nothing else. Anyways, if you guys watch this YouTube video, I know iceberg videos are usually 20 to 30 minutes long, but the iceberg was pretty short, and unlike other icebergs, I couldn't talk about much since... He only has 200 and something videos on both of his channels. So I'll see you guys later on whatever this thing says. And um, the next video should be coming out in March. Wait, this video is coming out in March, but the next video after that should still be coming out in March. Hopefully. I'll see you guys later. Not inserting that stupid plan recommend. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. So there's an iceberg part about school videos, and if you don't know, from 2015 to 2016, Plain Rock made a bunch of school videos for his school. Positive communications, school edited video, um, a typical day of school, filming Mario Kart 8 in school, and a lot of other school videos. Some of them even getting shown into school, which are also part of his school series. This is a big thing, and also not only that, but his whole entire school watched his YouTube channel at one point with one of his other community positive communication videos.